Okay, let's talk about a super common algebra error. And you definitely want to be uh, on alert uh, when you see a situation like this in algebra. But uh, before I show you this error and how to avoid it, I want to ask you if you can simplify this situation. So here we have negative 2 times 4x minus 1. What is this equal to? Now, if you know how to do this problem, put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to highlight this error so you do not make this on any test, quizzes, etc. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching mathematics for decades. It really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. If you need math help, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, we have negative 2 and we're multiplying it by 4x minus 1. What is this equal to? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So the answer is negative 8x plus 2. Now, this is a pretty simple uh, example, and some of you might have gotten this right, and you're like, yeah, yeah, this is easy. I don't know what you're talking about, uh, errors, mistakes. Well, listen, I have been teaching middle and high school mathematics for uh, many, many, many years. I've probably graded uh, maybe 10 million quizzes. To, well, maybe not that much, but you get the idea. I've seen a lot of uh, work uh, through the years, and I've seen this error you know, uh, happen over and over and over again, even to those best of algebra students, with those best of math students, you just, this is an easy mistake uh, uh, to make. So uh, I'm going to highlight it uh, using this simple example. But if you got this right, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. You can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in the distributive property because that's what we're talking about here. Now, the distributive property formally uh, written in algebra is A times uh, B plus C. So this is the sum, and this could be actually um, a difference as well. In other words, we can have a version of this as B minus C. But uh, what is this equal to? A times B plus C? Well, uh, the rest of this property is AB plus AC, okay? Or in this case, let me go and erase this right here. Uh, this would be a b minus a c so what we're talking about here is uh, uh, the distributive property which is one of the most important and widely used properties uh, in algebra and it's one of my favorite properties it's an awesome property but let's go ahead and get into it right now and uh, i'll show you this uh, error that a lot of students make okay so here is the problem i'm going to show you exactly um, you know how to do this in a second but let's just review this uh, uh, distributive property and see how cool it is. Now, let's take a look at this problem right here. We have three times four plus one. So let's recall the order of operations. We have to do what's inside parentheses first, right? So four plus one is what? Well, that's five, right? So this uh, uh, problem really is three times five, which of course is 15. That is super easy, no problem there, right? So you're like, yeah, I mean, I totally get it. So what's your point, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, here's my point, okay? We can actually uh, use the distributive property to do this same problem. No, it's not practically, you know, we would just go ahead and add these numbers, 4 plus 1 is 5 times 3, to just get the answer. But I'm just going to highlight how cool the distributive property is. So we could take this 3 and multiply it by this 4. Okay, we're going to um, effectively distribute, right, which is kind of like pass out, right? So we're going to take this 3 and pass it to the 4. So 3 times 4, we're going to figure that out in a second. But we're also going to take this 3 and multiply it by this 1. All right, so 3 times 1 is going to be right there. So, uh, and of course, we're adding, all right? So 3 times 4 plus 3 times 1 will also get us the answer. So the distributive property is another way to do multiplication of sums and differences. It's such a cool property. So 3 times 4 is what? 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. Look at that. We get the same answer. All right, so this is an illustration of the distributive property uh, using uh, basic math, uh, basic numbers like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example here. 
using some algebra. But uh, before we do that, let me quickly ask those of you that uh, are watching and if you are getting any value out of this video and have not yet subscribed to consider subscribing and hitting that notification button. Right now at the time of this video, I'm like at 430,000 subscribers, which I'm so, so grateful for. And we're uh, working really hard on YouTube. I love posting uh, math content uh, on my channel. So obviously, you know, I'm reaching a lot of folks, but it's my goal to try to get to 500,000 by the end of this year. And I'm posting this video right now in August. So if you can help me out, that would be awesome. And certainly it would put a nice little happy face on my face. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on with the distributive property. So here is another example. Okay, so I'll get to this error here in a second. So we have three times X plus five, uh, and we want to use the distributive property. Now, really, there's another error, and I just thought of it right now, and this is pretty common as well. So uh, what a lot of students do, they'll be like, okay, this would be three X, three times X, and then they'll just put uh, plus five, okay, like that. They'll forget to multiply that three times this five right here. So this uh, error is super common as well, but it's not the one that I'm highlighting in this particular video, but you know what, you know, being that we're talking about mistakes, um, you, know, uh, you know, I'm gonna bring this up as well because you wanna be on the lookout. It's good to study common errors because it's just gonna make you, you know, more aware. And that's the whole uh, thing when you're taking a test or a quiz or doing mathematics, if you have high situational awareness, high focus, you can avoid making errors. That's a, a huge part of being successful in math. So again, when you are doing the distributive property, you gotta take whatever number is right outside the parentheses and multiply it by however many terms you have. So three times X, we gotta figure that out. Of course, that's going to be three X, and then three times five is of course 15. So this is the correct answer, three X plus 15. Now, oftentimes you don't write it all out like this. You can kind of just see it and kind of erase this right here. Um, and when you get really good at algebra, you're like, okay, three times X, that's three X and three times five, that is 15. So I'm pretty sure most of you out there, you know, probably can handle a problem like that. So that's great. Okay. So now let's get to this situation. So here is the alert. Okay. Alert, alert. So think uh, sirens, you know, and <laughs> bells and whistle whistles. So anytime you are dealing with negative values, especially in a summer difference, this is where a lot of students make uh, mistakes. Okay. So you have to um, uh, put on a, uh, your extra focus thinking hat, hat <laughs> if you will, to avoid this mistake. Okay. So why is this a, a problem? Well, let me go ahead and show you this right now. So what a lot of students do, they'll, they'll uh, take this negative two, they'll multiply it by this four X. Okay. Not a problem there. And then they'll get confused with this sign They go, Oh, this is negative two times a uh, positive one. Okay. So they'll leave their aunt, they'll get the signs wrong. This is very, very common. Okay. So instead of the answer being negative eight uh, X uh, plus two, they'll have their final answer is negative eight X minus two. Okay, very common type of mistake uh, when it comes to the distributive property. So anytime, again, you are dealing with negatives and sums and differences, or just in general in algebra and mathematics, just pay extra attention. All right, so here's how you could avoid this mistake. So uh, now this is just a little trick. You don't have to do this uh, because a lot of you can be like, oh no, I understand that this negative two is gonna be multiplied by this four X. So that's going to give me a negative eight X. And then this negative two is going to be multiplied by this number, but this is the sign of the number. So negative two times this negative one is a positive two. So I'm going to have a plus two as my final answer, which is correct. Now that is the way you want to think about it. But for those of you out there that need a little extra kind of um, procedure or a little tip here to avoid making this mistake, Here's how you want to think about it. So this subtraction sign, okay, what we could do is turn this into a plus negative, all right? Let me just kind of review here real quick. Uh, if you have uh, seven minus 10, well, that's a <laughs> pretty long sub minus symbol, seven or subtraction symbol, seven, seven minus 10 is the same thing as seven plus negative 10. So in uh, mathematics, 
Okay, we're dealing with positive negative numbers. We could take subtraction and turn it into plus negative. Okay, and that's often very useful for students because it really highlights, you know, um, makes it very explicit that the sign of this number is negative one. So if I gave you this question, negative two times four x plus a negative one, it would be quite obvious that I'm taking this negative two and multiplying by this negative one. But in this situation right here, it's not as obvious. And again, a lot of students tend to make this error. I'm pretty sure I made this error way back in the early 80s when I was taking uh, pre-algebra and algebra. But uh, you know, again, uh, don't feel bad about making a mistake. Uh, what you want to do is not continue to make the same mistake over and over again. And uh, even if you know this, uh, a lot of students tend to, uh, to do this. Just be on the lookout. Okay, so now that we have it written uh, as plus negative, it's pretty easy. What we need to do, we have negative 2 times this 4x and then negative 2 times this negative 1. So we can really concentrate on what the signs are. So negative 2 times 4x is negative 8x plus negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 2. So this is our final answer. Okay, so, you know, a lot of little things like this you wouldn't know necessarily as a student because you're not grading thousands of problems. That's the real benefit of working with a math teacher. Okay, so a math teacher, uh, especially an experienced math teacher, knows all these common mistakes and can help, uh, you know, um, you avoid them on quizzes and tests etc. Okay, so if you're interested in learning algebra for me, I'm going to leave my algebra courses, all my math courses actually, in the description below. But uh, here's the thing, okay, whether you are learning from me or someone else, just make sure you learn this stuff, okay? Don't, um, you know, go into a test or quiz fully prepared because, you know, you're not going to probably do as good as you could. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.